of his particular mind fighting a, a southpaw is coming at quite late notice. Hasn't really had the time to prepare for Joe Hutchinson specifically. This American Joe Hutchinson, who's been the distance with the world class Arturo Gatti and Hector Camacho Jr., though he was blown away in a round last year by Teddy Reed, who's useful but no more than that. He's got to be a little wary that he doesn't get too carried away in this fight. He gets caught by a silly counter. Giving himself open. And I don't know, you're maybe a bit too keen to get on with the job. He's got to remember his defenses and just get in this, be a little bit more educated. The real world title fight. And well, he wants that desperately. And he didn't want to get caught napping, catching Hutchinson to body and head. Some nice shots. But he's still. I know personally you know, he's a frustrated fighter and, and he's fighting a bit like that. He's a little bit wild and making a few little mistakes in there. That's good. Left hand. Straight right. Good shot, guys. Left took his right hand now. Oh. Whips him more fast. Punches. Yeah, that's what he favours. Trying to weaken Hutchinson down with those solid body shots and it was maybe just a hint he was starting to have a bit of an effect fourth round when I say a particular favourite of Hatton's in which to complete the exercise Hutchinson, what message has Ricky Hatton sent out by doing the job in four rounds? 